Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another Days Gone video. And on this video folks, I am going to show you a very unique way in order to take on the infamous Mount Bailey Horde. So, let's get to it folks. Right and folks, this video is a special one because this is the first time I am able to confidently show a run that basically allows you to take out the Mount Bailey Horde quickly and easily during the daytime. And that is huge, folks, because although there is a method that you can use to take out this Horde reasonably easily, it normally has to take place at night. This one does not, folks. This basically takes place at the cave where they reside during the day. Now, during the day, of course, folks, you do have one or two advantages. You basically have the luxury of not having uh, as many freakers and whatnot to contend with as you're moving about from place to place. Uh, but as well as this, folks, the, one of the biggest advantages is basically for a good uh, amount of time, you know exactly where the horde is going to be. Um, because at night from, I think it's around 6 o'clock at night onwards, they are out and about moving. You just never know exactly where you're going to find them. So... Knowing that you can just head here during the day and knowing exactly where they will be makes this so much easier. And here's a start of it, folks. I'm just basically going to slowly make my way past the cave. I'm not worried about the noise of the bike because I've tried this run a few times. They've never came out yet. They are freaking oblivious to that bike. Now, here's where the magic happens. Ha <laughs> The right side of this rock face here, that is where you want to start the climb for this and believe it or not, you can make it to the top. But once you get to the top, this is about the only part that is not risk free. You have to make sure that that bike does not tip over the edge at the top. That's the only way you're likely to come into any problems because basically, once you have the bike at the top there and you've got off it, you just make your way to this section here and this is where all the fun is going to begin. Right, at this point, folks, I just want to take the time to actually thank the person who let me know about this location because I didn't discover this myself. This was actually discovered by a gent who goes by the name of Simon Lee. So, Simon, thank you very much, my friend. Uh, a fantastic uh, way of taking out this hold, and I just had to show it. So, um, yeah, here we go. It is basically now the horde know where I am. Now, you're not completely untouchable when you are on this rock face, but the worst you're really likely to get is just the odd slap off one or two of the freakers if they are high enough up. Oh, and there we go, folks, right bang on cue. Uh, <laughs> now, you'll never actually get any of the freakers actually managing to get to uh, your position in terms of standing up beside you, but they do get high enough up that they can actually get some of the slaps in. So just need to be a little bit careful when you're reloading the weapon and just make sure to try and keep their, uh, their height uh, uh, limited by gunfire. But as you can see at this point, folks, there isn't too many of the focus left. I'm not hearing that much in the way of screams and whatnot now, which is always a good indicator that they're uh, just about done. And of course, I have the luxury of survival vision here, so I am going to use it. Yep, there is just one left, and that is it. Job done. As easy as that, and that was with gunplay only, folks. So, next up is going to be a no-shots-fired run. And this is going to be a lot of fun, folks, and you'll see why. Right, folks, on to the second run, and this is going to be a no-shots-fired run. Basically just using all of uh, the resources I have available, so that will be uh, napalm molotovs, grenades, pipe bombs, you name it, they're going to get it. And of course folks, I can't possibly mention No Shots Fired without actually mentioning uh, the creator of this concept, who is of course Sponicus Rex, very well known in the Days Gone community. and. Uh, this, of course, Rex, will be nothing like your uh, No Shots Fired runs because, uh, let's be honest, there is not the same skill factor involved in uh, these particular ones due to the fact that <laughs> there's virtually no running about whatsoever. But, uh, 
yes, some variations on uh, your original concept, my friend. But uh, anyways, back to the action, folks, and I can already see one of them heading out. I'm just going to basically yeah, put down an attractor just to get the ball rolling nicely here. And what a beautiful sight that is, folks. Here they come. So I don't need to wait long before they are congregated. They are 300 strong, so uh, they come out very quickly. And they get into a large group very quickly. Hence why I'm starting off with the new Palm Molotovs, basically because I don't want the height that they uh, start to reach to become a factor. So the Napa Molotovs uh, do a pretty good job in ensuring that this doesn't become the case. But here is one of the beauties of this area. Just make sure you crouch down and you can use your grenades and you can use your pipe bombs as well, folks. Because basically you have a very natural defense with the rock face there. Um, this really is a lot of fun. <laughs> and it doesn't get much easier than this either, folks. Um, yep. As you can see now, I don't have too much in the way of uh, the freakers left. This really is quite a quick job. And uh, worth knowing, by the way, folks, although I haven't mentioned that at the beginning of the video, there is actually another method that I have for taking out this horde, which is an easy uh, way of sorts. I say of sorts, it is riskier, and uh, I did find this one myself, and truth be told, it is a little bit batshit crazy. Um, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with it, but I thought, what the hell? Uh, I'm just going to include it as a bonus run to show you all, because there is another way. But like I say, I wanted all the focus and attention on this method because it is that good. Thanks once again, Simon Lee. <laughs> okay, folks, here is the bonus run, and this is another way. And as it is uh, correctly uh, titled, it is quick, but it is riskier. And it basically involves, <laughs> yep, actually going up the side of the cave wall. You can do it, um, but here are the problems that you're likely to face. On occasions, I've had the bike actually come down uh, from its position and take me down with it. That can happen. Uh, other problems that you can encounter, um, you can actually come off this area yourself. And when you do, you're in a lot of bother. <laughs> But, um, if you can stay up on this position, and truth be told, I do actually need to get a bit lower. Um, because you can actually get issues with uh, some of the bullets actually hitting the freakers because of the rock face. Uh, where I'm at now is probably one of the more ideal positions for doing this, folks. And uh, you'll also notice, uh, at this time, they can't actually uh, see me. They don't know where I am. It's not going to remain that way for the, the entire run, but at the moment, that is the case. So I'm just taking the time here to uh, clear up the stragglers, but I do know there is still a lot of this horde still inside the cave, so I'm actually going to have to take the, the very um, <laughs> slow and painful steps of trying to get a touch lower, just so that I can basically get their attention. You know what, folks? <laughs> I'm very lucky. I must have just got to the point where they are now recognizing me. Because now, yeah, now they're basically where they need to be for me to uh, take the point of the uh, Once you get to this position, folks, then it's a dog. But as I said at the very beginning, the problems that you can face trying to get to this position are what make this run an awful lot riskier. You basically, folks, only get one shot at trying to get into this position because if you do happen to come off here with the bike the first time you attempt it, the horde is on you. You don't have the luxury of the first one where basically you can take your time and if you don't quite get the, the rock face quite right that you can just basically redo it. Uh, it's all or nothing with uh, this method, folks. But as you can see, it works. <laughs> And that's it, folks. That brings this video to a close. As always, thank you very much for watching, folks, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care.